Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture. And in this lecture, we are going to let the user log into our application. So to do that, we need to go over all the things that we did in the registration activity. That is, we need to take the data from the register form and we need to validate that, that we need to validate that data and we also need to uh, use the Firebase authentication class to let the user log into our application. Since we have already created an account, we will use the same account to log in the user, okay? So let's, before that, I want to run this applic application and show you guys what ha happen in our what happens in our application right now. So I'm gonna run this in my emulator. And here we are getting this login page, right? So if we click on create account, we go to create account. And if we click on login, we uh, do not come back to the register account because I have not implemented this login feature here. So first I'm gonna implement this login button here so that whenever user click on this login, they can come back to the login activity. So let's go here in our registered Java file. Here we already have this go to login uh, feature, go to login variable. So what I'm gonna do is just after this, I'm gonna add the go to login. I'm gonna add the on click listener on this go to login button. Okay, and new on click listener. And now here I'll just start the new activity and create the new intent inside that. And from the get application context, we'll go to the login.class. And I'm going to add the finish as well. Okay, so let me run this again. And now we can go to create account. We can come back to the this register account. Okay, so we are done with the register thing. Okay, here. Uh, so I'm gonna close this activity dot register XML and everything. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to open the login page, login dot Java file and login XML file. Okay. Now, first things first. What I want to do is since this login is our launcher activity, I want to check if the user has previously logged into our application or not. Okay. So if the user has logged in logged into our application before. I don't want them to see this uh, login screen. What I want them to do is, what I want to do is I want to send them directly to the dashboard because Firebase provide that features to us and we don't need to, we don't need to ask them for the username and password again and again when they open our application. And that is one of the feature of the Firebase, okay? So I can do that in on start method. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to implement the, override the on start method here, okay? And inside this, I'm going to check if Firebase auth dot get instance dot get current user is not equals to null. Okay, so if the user has previously logged into our application, this thing is going to fail. Okay, this thing is going to be true because the current user is not null. If the user is logged in before, then we do have some user in our app that is logged in before. So this condition is going to be passed. So it's going to return true. And in that case, we will send them directly to the main activity. Okay. So new intent, get application context, and I want to send them to the main activity. And in our case, main activity is the dashboard where user go after they logged in successfully with the username and password. Okay. Whenever the user create the new account, they directly logged into our app, okay? So that is the feature of Firebase. So that's why we need to check this condition here, even though we have not implemented the login feature right now, okay? And I'm gonna finish this. Now, I, I wanna show you guys what happens when I rerun the application, okay? So currently, this is our app. Now, I want to rerun this. And you can see we are directly redirected to the dashboard because uh, in the last lecture, we created our account. At that time, user has automatically logged into this uh, application that we have here. So next time when they open our application, let me close this again, open this again, and they should directly go to the dashboard because they have already logged in automatically, okay? So that is one of the features that I wanted to show you guys. Now we'll go ahead and implement this login activity that we have here. So, uh, First things first, we need to extract the data and then we will validate the data and we will lo log in the user. And at that time, if we get any error like username or password does not, does not exist or something like that, we will display the exception message. So let's go ahead and extract the data first. And as you know, before extracting the data, we need to uh, create the edit text variable here for the username 
and password so that we can extract the data so just after this here I want to uh, use this username and password variable to uh, bind the data bind the XML data that we have in our login activity login to XML layout here so we need to bind this uh, component with this variable that we have created here so that we can extract the data right so you know that already because I have already told you before so find view by ID r dot ID dot um, let me get the login email okay and password find view by ID r dot ID dot login password okay so username in our case is email you know that already right and now whenever user click on this login button I want to extract the data and validate the data so I also need to create the variable for this login button because I don't have that right now so here login button is a variable name and now here just after this login button find view by id r dot id login button okay now i will set the on click listener on this just like how we have uh, we had set this on click listener on the register button new on click listener right just like that and now inside this we will first extract the data and then we will validate the data and we will log in the user okay let's go and extract the data first so uh, in the register activity we had created the string right and we validated the string but here what I want to do is I want to use I want to extract the string directly in if else condition okay so let me show you what I mean um, here so we have this username right username dot get text get text dot to string and now I can directly call is empty method here okay now if this condition is failed or true that means user have not entered the username or email then we will display the error message to the user so username dot set error and email is missing okay we will display some messages here and we will return the control and similarly for the password I will extract the password first and control uh, convert that to the string we need to convert that to the string because uh, if we if we only use password at get text it's not going to return the data it's only going to return the uh, class or you know it's going to return the string object not the string that we have entered so we need to convert that to the string and then only we can call the is empty method and now here I'm gonna set the error saying is missing okay now we can return the control just like that okay the validation is done the extraction and validation is done here so I'm gonna remove that extract and validate I'm gonna add it there okay now whenever the control comes here that means the data is valid okay now what we'll do is we'll log in the user and to log in the user we need that Firebase authentication class instance of that class so Firebase auth Firebase auth let me go here and initialize that Firebase auth so Firebase auth dot get instance that's how we initialize it and now I can use this Firebase auth instance to log in the user so Firebase auth and we can use sign in user with credit sign in user with email and password method that is provided by the firebase and similarly here we need to pass the two string that is username dot get text dot to string as well as password dot get text dot and we need to convert that to the string and now i'll add the listener that is success listener if in case the user uh, login is successful so new on success listener and I'll also add on failure listener in case the login is failed okay on failure listener okay 
in case when the login is failed i will display the message to the user that login has failed and the reason of the failure okay and we can get that by using this exception that is provided by this on failure method and we will display the message and in case the login is successful we will uh, the control will call this on success method so login is successful right so in that case we will send the user to the main activity by using intent class and we will finish this okay now let's go ahead and run this application and enter the username and password that we have used previously to create the new account and see if this thing is going to work or not so run this application open the emulator and we are directly sent to the dashboard now that happens because we have not logged out the user that was previously logged in okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one more button here to log out the user first and then we can come back and log in the user okay so let's go to the activity main.xml file here and add one more button to log out the user i'll fix the constant first okay and give some padding and i will give some margin sorry i keep on saying padding but it's okay so let me rename it as logout i'm gonna give the logout button as the id and refactor it and go to the main activity because we have this button in activity main so we need to control that from the main activity because this is our dashboard for now and similarly i'm gonna create the button logout button find by id r dot id logout button sorry not login log out so we do have that logout button somewhere okay uh, i'm not able to get that logout so let me go here and check oh i gave the login button sorry for that okay now refactor it come here logout button okay and now i can set the on click listener on that set on click listener new on click listener that means whenever the button is clicked we are going to uh, the control is going to call this on click method here and inside this we are going to log out the user get instance get current user and sign out we actually don't need to get the sign uh, current user we can directly call the sign out method here like that and whenever the user is signed out i want to send them to the login screen so i'm going to start the new activity new intent get application context log out sorry log in is the activity where i want to send the user and finish this because i don't want user to be able to come back when they log out okay so this is all the logic that we need to implement to log out the user so let's go ahead and see this is working or not so application is running we are at the dashboard now i'm going to click on log out and it is sending me to the login screen okay now the moment of truth let's add let's enter our email that i have given at the time of registration gmail.com and password was one two three four five and six right but just to check i'm going to give one two three four five which is incorrect password and let's see what happens here click on login it says password is invalid or does not have a password i'm going to give six and let's see what happens it's going to log me into, into the our dashboard okay so this is how we implement the login and registration using the firebase email authentication so this is this, this was the core uh, concept of login and registration with the email and password in firebase but in upcoming lectures we'll be talking about how to reset the password how to change the email and how to send the confirmation password for the email and so on so stick around and i'll see you in the next lecture